and welcome to another Mouse Fives video here in Spain. Today we're taking the best day trip in Spain and headed about an hour northwest of Barcelona to the mountaintop of Montserrat. For many visitors, a day trip to Montserrat is the highlight of their visit. I mean, look at this place. It's gorgeous. Let's just like take this in. These mountain tops are part of the Catalan pre-coastal range. And a little known fact, the stone from the mountain is also used for the construction of Sagrada Familia. That's rad. You can get here by road, by aerial cable car, or by train. Since Ashley and I are noobs and never been here before, we opted for a group tour. Ashley's go-to is TripAdvisor. Once we were on their site, there were a ton of different options. We went the simplest option, the half-day tour with tapas and gourmet wines. Really didn't explain much with it, but it was $89 per person. Person. And that covered the air conditioning transportation, the cogwheel train ride up, a guided tour for about 60 minutes. Sing, babe. <laughs> 90 minutes to roam around Montserrat and wine and tapas. But besides it being beautiful, why does this area play an important role in the cultural and spiritual life of Catalonia? So what? I don't know. Well, I think it's time for a little Mouse Vibes history moment. The legend goes like this. In 718, villagers from the town outside of Montserrat noticed a glow coming from the mountain. So they alerted the highest authorities at that time, Hello. the church. The church sent over their two best guys to take a look, and yes, they confirmed the glow coming from the mountain. It looks glorious. So the men made their way up the mountain to see what it was. When they got to the top of the mountain, they noticed a light coming from a cave. And in that cave, stood a three-foot statue of the Virgin of Montserrat. The men knew they had to take this back down to the village and show the church. So they made the journey back down the mountain with the statue. And the further they got, the heavier the statue got. And at some point, it got so heavy, they couldn't move it any further. So they came up with the next best idea. Why not build the church and the monastery around the statue? And that's exactly what they did. And the monastery was officially founded in 1025. Now this has become a spiritual place. Visitors come from all over the world to pray to the Virgin of Montserrat. And the legend has it, if your prayers come true, you must come back to thank her. Honestly, I don't think either of us expected to get this choked up on our trip advisory tour for $89. This was definitely not in the fine print, but we'll take this powerful moment. Now we have 90 minutes to explore the rest of Montserrat. We got a little bit ways to go up on the trail. We're looking for this cross right up there. Ashley, you got your new balances on? I was gonna wear my Doc Martens and I'm like, we're gonna be doing a bit of like walking, climbing, hiking today. And I wear my new balances and this is such a beautiful trail. It's the easiest one here up on Montserrat. We're going up to the cross. The air is so crisp. It is so beautiful. The vibes today are just, this is great. We never hike back home and like for us to hike together and like, I feel like I'm gonna cry, sorry. <laughs> The only time we hike is when we're walking back to the parking lot at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, it's just like so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm also really humbled that they said that this is the easiest trail and a bunch of old people come and do this. We've stopped like three times on the way up to this cross. <laughs> so much on vacation in my life. <laughs> our, va our vacation is usually brunch and sangria. <laughs> Made it to the top where the cross is. It's so beautiful. It was worth us huffing and puffing and struggling to get here. It was about 20 minutes and this is breathtaking. Like I never imagined I would be here in my life or do a hike internationally. It's just gorgeous. Does it glisten better <laughs> all the way up here? Yes. 
So far, this has exceeded my expectations. There's an old church here, the Black Madonna, wine tasting cheese, epic views, and we just did like a little 20 minute hike. But this view is breathtaking and so beautiful. We only have like minor hikes back home, like <laughs> Fred and Canyon and stuff, and it doesn't even compute with us. This is next level. We were a bit hesitant about doing this just because, you know, it kind of takes up your whole day and it's a bit in the sticks, but I'm so happy that we did it. We've done so much city life during this trip and it's nice to just be here above the clouds as a newly engaged couple <laughs> and just taking the sights and the beautiful sounds of this. Like, this was great. I, I love this, I'm enjoying this so much. And we're here on a group tour, so we only have about an hour to explore until we go back down the mountain, have tapas and wine and all that. Ashley hooked this entire trip up, so I'm very excited to check it out. Let's just like take this in. Let's make out, are you ready? Isn't she beautiful, guys? <laughs> Alright, I'll show the ring off. One more time. Oh. Yes. <laughs> also, be careful, guys. It's like a near-death experience to get that awesome shit. <laughs> <laughs> Some cliffhanger stuff right there. Literally. Here's your camera, baby. Thanks, Ooh, I look like Casper from this thing. Let me walk backwards. So that escalated quickly. Not only did we get the best photo ever, we made friends. I was like, should we should we say this? But there was these girls and they were talking about free the nipple and they're like, when are you ever gonna come back? Like, you want to join us? You should. Um, you should. And then I was like, I'll join you and... Listen, they're not gonna look this good forever, so might as well enjoy it and show it off while I can, you know? <laughs> Do you think the group's gonna be mad? Now we're on our way back down the mountain. Huffing and puffing. We have to meet the rest of our group right now. We're supposed to be doing tapas in five minutes and we're like easily 15 minutes away. So our bad guys, just to let you know, you're kind of strapped for time when you're doing yeah. this. So you kind of have to hustle in that hike. Don't underestimate that. <laughs> 20 minutes later. We made it back down here. Goodbye, Montserrat. Now it's time to get, go and have tapas. We're getting on a bus. Yeah, we're getting on a bus and we're gonna go have tapas and wine, which is included in our trip advisor tour. So I don't exactly know where we're going, but I'm really excited to eat. I'm starving. Guys, pray for me. I don't get car sick again. We made it. We weren't the only ones that really it was awesome. I'm so ready to eat. We forgot our water bottle like noobs and we're like so, so parched. I'm so excited for some wine and water. It's okay to run a little bit late. It's called running on Spanish time, I learned. So I guess even back home since I've been born, I've been running on Spanish time. After everyone gathered on the bus, we made our way down the windy mountain. I secretly was praying I didn't throw up on the way back. If you're gonna spew, spew into this. And after about an hour of holding on for dear life, we finally made our way over to the winery. Once we arrived, we realized we were the only ones there. And TripAdvisor left out that we were going to a thousand year old winery, which was an epic surprise, but secretly I was a little bit sketched out. We were in this winery all alone, so far away from home. And then we were led into this wine cellar where everyone was seated and we were greeted with homemade tapas and probably one of the best olive oils I've ever had. I don't know why everywhere in Spain Spain offers this toast with some type of tomato paste on top, but either way, it was really good. So good. MJ quickly went from tour guide to wine sommelier and started our wine tastings. We're gonna have, uh, yes, one white and two reds, okay? So this is for you and I wish you the best. Cheers. 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 After a little bit of wine, everyone had to go around and introduce themselves. I'm also from Singapore, husband and wife. We actually retired police officers. Amazing. And uh, but I'm re-employed. Peacefully retired. <laughs> My name is Mick. Um, Ashley and I are here together. We're from Los Angeles, California, and uh, we're celebrating the engagement. Cheers. 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 Thank you so much. So nice to meet you guys. After our nice wine tasting and celebrating with our new friends, we were able to explore the winery for about an hour. And of course, we had to have one last glass of wine before we left. Thank, Thank you, MJ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything. Everything. Yeah. 
So we're nearing our end of our long day trip to Montserrat, ending at a thousand year old winery. It's just been such a good day. We made friends from Singapore, from the Bay Area, from Newport Beach, from the UK. It's just been amazing. And I just asked Nick off camera, I was like, did you ever think that you would be in Spain drinking wine at a thousand year old winery? And he's like, no. And it's just like so special. Like today was so good. <laughs> it's one of the best days ever. Mm. This is amazing. And I love that it's organic, so it has like less sulfites and less crap in it, so you're not gonna feel like crap after you drink it. Does that mean I can have an infinity amount of glasses and not have a hangover in the morning? Yes. <laughs> I love this place. Before we wrap up this tour, I just wanna say, at first I was a little bit skeptical of hopping on a bus early in the morning with a bunch of strangers and going off to the mountain <laughs> in a winery that was like nondescript. So I, was, I had my like reserves on it. After experience everything, it exceeded my expectations. Everything was so much better. And there's been just a day full of history and beautiful sights and beautiful people. If you guys are visiting Barcelona and you're thinking about doing a day trip or anywhere in Spain, you wanna to come to Maserat, do it. We saw this on TikTok, and you know like internet life versus real life and it can't compare? It's 10 times better. Blown away. I, again, if Ashley didn't like ask, hey, do you want to do this? I probably would have never done this. I probably would have never left Los Angeles, so. <laughs> Love you. All right, and that's gonna wrap up our beautiful day trip to Montserrat. This was an incredible experience. We want to give a huge shout out to our tour guide, MJ. You did a phenomenal job. Who am I to disagree? Good night, everyone. Woo! <laughs> that was one for the books. What a beautiful, special day. And you guys, we will put the exact tour that we did and all of the information and the link in the description below of this video from TripAdvisor. It was a one of a kind experience. I literally had the best day. I am so excited that we decided to do this and we definitely recommend this day trip if you guys are coming to Barcelona. Not only did we soak up the best views, we went to a winery that was over a thousand years old and made friends in our group that'll last a lifetime. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us grow and if not, thanks for stopping, stopping by. by.